guys. Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be doing our garden tour. It's crazy, this is I think our 13th garden tour. So 13 weeks of garden, 13 weeks basically since we planted, although I feel like it's been maybe a little bit more. So we planted like the la the 20th we're, week of April. We're trying just potatoes in some soil. Yeah, we're trying to grow some potatoes in just some soil. We planted uh -huh. them, have they sprouted yet? None. No. What else I'll sprouted show though? You. What sprouted though? What well, had birthdays this week? Beans. Beans sprouted. Yeah, we planted lots of I'll beans. I'll show them. And we will show you our beans that have sprouted and all the other things. There's a lot of things that the season is definitely winding down and they're done or mostly done. And that's okay because we have exciting new things coming, new growth happening, and we'll show you those too. So let's get started. If you're new here, Welcome, we've been filming our garden all summer long and the different changes that has been happening. And yeah, it's a pretty big garden, 3,000 square feet of growing space. And we have harvested a lot, had a lot of problems, but you can go back and watch all those things. We um, put up a fence. We did put up a fence and it didn't do any good. <laughs> so let's show you what's growing. I feel like even compared to last week, this view is a lot different. The corn tasseled, so that's pretty exciting. Um, that might be like the only major difference you can see like just from here. I mean, there's a cute little girl right there, but it's probably the only major difference you can see. These guys are still going strong. I have harvested some seeds from them, but I think the birds got some of them too before I could get them, but they are still looking beautiful. It's hard when it's wet because the aisles get so wet. These tomato plants are still doing okay. I've harvested some from them. These are my Abe Lincoln tomatoes and they, I mean they're starting to show some signs of disease but not as bad as the other ones that I took out are. I definitely need to harvest basil soon. I keep thinking about it every time I come out here and always forget. Peppers. Still not really any peppers on here. Anna's little pepper plant over here is growing a pepper. It's not quite ready yet. But, I'll, I'll see. You gonna see if it's good or not? No. It's still green? Mm -hmm. Okay, this guy has a pepper coming on it. Pretty exciting. <laughs> Cherry tomatoes. What? Rotted body. Yeah, maybe it won't get a rotted body. Yeah. We have lots of cherry tomatoes still every day. I feel like yesterday we picked mm, six cups again. Our little lettuce is growing to seed that I want to save the seeds from. Um, we picked some of our King of the North peppers. It doesn't look like they're growing more right now, but I mean, oh well, I guess. I guess what we got is what we got. Big, huge marigold. I left that tomato plant because it had a few tomatoes on it and it looks like it's surviving currently. Weedy jungle. You know, I'm gonna take care of that this week. Oof. Flowers are looking nice and beautiful. The bubblino plant had lots and lots of peppers on it. Pretty exciting. This pepper plant died for some reason. But I mean, there's tons of buds on this plant. Pretty cool. I don't really know when to pick the seeds from this. I haven't really seed, seen any seeds form. This is my carrot plant. Pretty sure that's what that is. My little tiny tomato plants are doing okay. I need to find the rest of them in that weedy jungle. <laughs> This guy hasn't died yet. That's exciting. <laughs> a little um, sucker transplant. Sunflowers. We got some sunflowers growing. These guys are so funny. They're just like flopping right over. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be or what. Jungly. Jungly. So wet. I also harvested some seeds from these zinnias down here as well because they're beautiful. The sunflower house has seen better days. Those are still looking beautiful up there. They're just starting to fall over. I harvested one this week for seeds and the birds are starting to get some of them too. So yeah, it's okay though. Ooh, this guy, he's just bent right over. He'll probably have lots of seeds in there. And this guy, oof. He's probably about ready to be picked too. The beans are growing. Excited to see them start to climb. We pulled out all their carrots. 
I don't think I told you that. But all our carrots, we got four pounds of them. Some were big, the purple ones were the biggest. And so we just pulled them all out. Um, we've harvested a few honeydew. This guy's probably getting close to being ready. We have cantaloupes hiding in the weeds down here. Pretty excited about those guys. Oh, you know, come see if this cantaloupe's ripe. Does he come off his vine yet? Let's see. Is he ready? Ta-da! He was ripe. <laughs> Do you want to take that up to the gate? And then we'll remember to take it up. Oh. We've had so many cantaloupes and they've been so, so delicious. We've also had a lot of honeydew, and they are also really good. Way better than I remember. I kind of think they crossed with my cantaloupe last year, because I saved the seeds from them last year. Just, But they have just the tiniest little bit of orange, like, right around the seeds. And they're really good. Like, way better than any honeydew I've ever had. And I have a hard time figuring out when they're ripe, but most of the ones I've picked so far have been good. One was not so good, but that's okay. I started working on clearing out this weedy mess. I didn't get very far. I got, like... That little space right there. That's it. I harvested my cilantro seeds though. That was good. The zinnias are starting to bloom. I'm getting ready to bloom in here. So that's exciting. You see your zinnia starting to get a little thing. A little blossom. We got a little watermelon over here. We got watermelon growing everywhere. The beans are almost ready to start picking. Yeah, we're getting lots of beans on there. This is our second crop of beans. Ooh, this guy. He is ready to pick. Wow, we'll have to pick him later. This guy looks like he died. I wonder why. Anyway, this corn definitely did better this time. It definitely is taller than me. And it's getting <laughs> getting pollinated. You're gonna trim the basil with me or for me? Thank you. Alright, oh hey look, here's a strawberry. Would you like it, ma'am? No, you can. Oh thank you. Mmm. That was a delectable one. Got lots of watermelon growing in here. I'm pruning the bush. You're pruning my basil bush? Pruning your imaginary. Pruning my imaginary basil? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what she calls volunteer plants. My imaginary plants. Just don't get the watermelon vine, okay? I'm gonna snip it right onto the watermelon vine. <laughs> this guy, I am so excited to harvest him. He is huge. Like, he is the biggest sugar baby watermelon I have ever seen. Snapping and I'm pretty snap. excited about it. We picked one sugar baby yesterday that was not that big, but it was pretty big. Still got just lots of vines went everywhere. We have zucchini that sprouted. So this is what I'm excited about, my fall crops that are coming. Zucchini that sprouted over here. Lots of honeydew still ripening in here. I think that zucchini is dead. All the leaves are done on it, so we need to take him out today. The bean crop. I mean, I've only picked like two beans from it so far, but hopefully soon it'll start producing. It's getting a little wild in here. But we have a big buttercup squash that Mr. Rabbit can't munch that I hope grows to fruition. And hopefully the squash bugs don't destroy my plant before then. I don't think they're doing too bad. I mean, there's one there, so I mean... They're definitely on here and I need to pick them off, but maybe we can get it to grow enough. And then these guys, these butternuts are still growing. This cantaloupe is still growing. I need to put a bag underneath him before he falls off. Um, I'm pretty sure most of this vine over here. I snapping the scissors. Yeah, this vine over here is pretty much done. This guy still has some new growth, so I'm just going to kind of let this plant at least grow. I need to take off those guys, I think. Our peanuts are still spreading like crazy. I don't, I don't think it's time to pick them yet because they're still flowering and stuff. It's going crazy. We've but picked. Big yeah, basil. we've picked some more of our long cucumbers, and they've actually been really good. Um, so I was gonna hope to see if I could find a few more in there today and pick them. I picked a whole basket full of the other cucumbers, and honestly, I'm just scared to try them because. I feel like they're not going to be good. I feel like they're just going to be bitter. And so I'll just kind of let them sit in my fridge. And I probably just need to put them on my compost 
and turn them into dessert because I don't want to munch them. <laughs> anyway, we have a little buttercup squash growing there. It looks very sad. I don't know what's up with it. Maybe some bug damage or something. Oh, hey, a little bug damage, uh huh? Yep, you. Oh, hey, squash bugs. Oh, boy. Buttercup squash over there had lots of squash bug babies on it. Pumpkin looks much better, much healthier. This pumpkin also looks healthier. Just really want them to be able to grow up my jealous. But I mean, this guy, he's still going strong. Mostly this guy is doing okay. I'm just waiting for that guy basically to ripen and I'll take him out, probably. I have some cantaloupes growing over here. I don't remember if I explained why I'm growing more plants at the base of this trellis, but basically the plants are gonna die pretty soon, I feel like. So then the trellises will be empty, but it'll be too late by the time the plants die to plant stuff to grow up it for fall. So I was like, ooh, I'll plant it now. And then by the time it's ready to trellis, the other plant will be dead or died back enough that I can start trellising the other plants. Beans. What's up with the beans? beans? It's their birthday today and yesterday. Look at all those beans. These are just regular bush beans that we're gonna grow for munching. Our other beans over there, they're the black and pinto beans that I planted from Aldi. We have a baby squash here. Maybe we'll grow. Our potatoes still have not sprouted. It's been two weeks. So maybe they will sprout soon. These beans have not sprouted, but maybe it'll take them another day or two. We'll see. Oh, hey, there's some beans sprouting. Yay! All right, come tell me what we're doing down here. What's with the sticks? Um, we're going to make trellis all around these. Beans, because them are really small. Yeah? What will happen with the trellis? It won't get eaten. Oh. By any groundhogs. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I see what you're doing. Keeping them protected. Yeah. Thank you. So we do have a bunch more squash coming along through here. And pumpkins and things like that. The pumpkin plants are pretty much dead. Like that plant over there looks pretty dead. Um, and definitely the squash bugs and stuff are definitely doing their business. I think there's also powdery mildew on that plant. This watermelon, we're still waiting anxiously for it to be ready because it's so huge. It's a five gallon bucket. It is almost that whole bucket full. I keep checking it to make sure it's not stuck in there. But, you know, squash bugs are inevitable, I think. And I'm thankful we've gotten the harvest that we have of squash and stuff. And more cantaloupe growing there. That one definitely looks pretty dead. Oof. Um, so yeah, I think there was a pumpkin over there that might have died. We harvested the watermelon from here, the volunteer one. Pretty sure it was good. Yeah. Um, this plant seems to be dead. I don't really know. That plant, mm, maybe dead. Cucumbers are growing over there at the base of the sunflowers. Whew. Look at those sunflowers. The little squash that was underneath this solar panel. Got munched by something. Um, Sweet potatoes still look pretty much jungly, weedy. Okay, Harvested a few of our dry beans. That's about it. Yeah. This kind of this corner is kind of done-ish. I mean, besides sweet potatoes, but the beans, not really very much happening there. Sunflowers are kind of oh, looking a little beaked. So that's pretty much it for this garden tour. Thanks for watching. I think I need to take a little bit of time and maybe try to get rid of some of those squash bugs for a little bit. We'll see. Or, you know, I mean, it's kind of inevitable that they're going to just destroy my crop. Um, that or the rabbit or, you know, something. But thankful for what food we have gotten so far this year. The cantaloupe has been incredible. That's been, like, one of our biggest crops, I feel like. I don't know. I mean, the corn is big, too. And potatoes. You know, we've gotten a lot of things. So... I'm thankful for those things and we'll see how our fall garden does. See you next time!